and this is, I mean, this is one of the maps he lost to Innovation on in IEM. Yep. But it was one of the maps where, again, he like he lost like seven queens to a 2-1-1. Like, 2-1-1 builds don't do anything nowadays, right? They like clean up a couple creep tumors. So to lose seven <laughs> queens, he was so far behind in the first place. So I, I don't know, like a very interesting opening. I mean, how do you even use this gold base? Generally, roach roan, build some roaches, uh, I get would a say bit aggressive. This has to be a Ravager opening, right? Like, yeah, because oh. you need some sort of aggression to stop that catch just going down. I mean, in before he bailing boss, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. Yeah. I'm definitely sure uh, there are a couple of innovation fans out there right now that will be like, Cheryl's clearly afraid of innovations late game. Well, if this continues, that's absolutely yeah. the case. But uh, let's not really jump to too many conclusions yet. Is this Reaper going to see the creep? It's close. Uh, I think he sees the edge of it, right? Yeah, yeah but, do, but that's kind of hard to spot, Yeah, though. it's one of those things where you see it, but you actually yeah. don't really see it all of the time. Because you're just not really paying attention. Yeah. like. It, it depends a little bit on your monitor settings and stuff like that. I have the feeling that Innovation did not see this yet. Still just, uh, oh my god, he's double CCing. Okay, he's definitely not seen this, but now he sees the lack of a uh, yeah, hatchery here. Cancels. Instant cancel. Yeah, that one gas obviously means that there's no kind of super fast factory coming through as well. Just now the factory getting started. Well, this is already amazing for Serral because, let's face it, there's still no second gas. What do you think about the fact that he canceled the one on the low ground that was 80% done? Mm. That's safety? obviously, it really is safety, right? Because I guess you don't know exactly how fast it's going to come in. And those two, mm, I don't know, though, because it was only two lings. Yeah. He might have thought it was six lings, but he can't know that. I, I think he misread it as yeah. a six ling opening, and he's like, all right, uh, let's not get myself in that position. But that's kind of an interesting scenario. Now, it does get a very quick bunker this time. You know, it's like, yeah, I probably do need a bunker. <laughs> this Reaper is going to try to get annoying. That queen is sleeping on the job. Serral will not end up losing a drone here, but that got very close. All right, first Ravages on the way. What a way to start our Grand Finals. Uh, Why well, they definitely did not expect that. Game one, yeah, okay. Game two, no, oh. did not see this one coming. Is this bunker next to the depot so you can hit both of the yeah. corrosive bars? That's really nice if that's the case. He gets a Marine as well. Wow. I mean, just that, you know, those little bits of something. And obviously, as the Ravager count builds up here from Serral, this gets a lot better for him. And again, that factory being so late, there's no Cyclone yet to push that Overlord back. And Cyclone is the way to open because a Siege Tank just gets corrosive bars down too quickly. Doesn't seem like it's damaging the depot though. Not yet at least. Maybe he needs to put it a little bit more forward, but maybe he doesn't want to take this damage. Serral's going to change his target. He goes for the Southern Depot instead, and we'll now start working on this uh, reactor as well. But a couple of additional drones were just produced. I feel a bit awkward because I feel like this is not an easy situation to ever transition out of, right? If you're Serral, you need mm -hmm. way more than he got so far. Another round of bars, and that's another depot and a reactor going down. There's the cyclone to push the overlord away. So now there's no high ground vision. Wow. Oh, full surround that's on the massive. reaper. That's massive, because yeah. there is almost nothing there protecting the drone line. So that single reaper actually could have been a huge nuisance for uh, Serral. Gets it quite quickly. Cyclone locks on one of these ravages. That's a bit annoying, a little bit of damage. I mean, innovation is banshees, though. Don't these banshees have, like, all the potential in the world? Right, because they can shut down the Ravager attack. There's a lair now starting, so I think Serral's realizing what he's potentially yeah. most afraid of or most vulnerable to here. Mm -hmm. He's scouted it as well. I and he's actually got a Spore Crawler coming in at the front because of the creep spread. Mm. Wow. That's actually pretty sick because usually these attacks end pretty soon. But because he's got the gold base and the creep, the Spore will right. come down. I must say, if there's one thing I do love about Serro whenever he is cheesy, I feel like he's not that stubborn, right? Like, in a way, he does transition out of builds where we feel like you normally don't transition. That Overlord did indeed spot the tech lab, so knows it's Banshees, stuff like that. And now it just feels that Serro wants to keep innovation on a one-base economy for as long as possible, despite the fact there are two command centers. A lot of drones are injured there, but I don't think any drones truly went down. So yeah, it just feels like Serro just wants to be annoying here. And I don't know if Innovation really has the units yet to fight those Queens and fight those uh, Ravagers, but maybe if the first tank can siege up on the low ground as well, there's still that Cyclone in the mix. This is going to be very interesting, because Inno's just kind of going for it, wants to already start mining of the low ground. Serro's going to do his absolute best to prevent this for as long as possible. That tank, I mean, where's the, where's the first Overlord? I don't see any Overlord, so a tank on the high ground could be very gnarly. Look at the 24 links, by the way, yeah. for Serral. It's because there's no wall off on the low ground, right? So he knows he can flood through here and deny this, definitely. Yeah. And there's no wall off on the high ground. Innovation didn't rebuild that, so there's potential for even more right here. As we do see another bunker cancel. This is like the third time Innovation's trying to build this bunker now. Mm -hmm. Dream scenario for Serro is that one of these corrosive balls connect with the Banshees. It's incredibly important for Innovation that he makes sure that that does, uh, that does not happen. 
happen. We've seen that happen actually a couple of times in high level StarCraft 2. I think the tank might be in range of that. At least I kind of expected it is in range of these Ravagers. The Cyclone goes down, so that's pretty big. But the Cross of Balls don't really connect with anything. The Spore Crawl is being kept alive by these Queens. Pulls it away, but I think the tank on the high ground yep. still has it. There is an Overseer for detection, but no extra damage output. As well, Serral does have access to the Mineral Line on the low ground. But he's not going to really be able to bust through, but he's still making more lings and more queens. With Roach be coming up, it feels like he still wants to go for this. Yeah, well, at least he's getting in range of that uh, mineral line. Look oh, at that no, orbital, by the way. The queens are getting a really good fight here against the Banshee. So many additional links suddenly show up out of nowhere. Innovation did not expect that, and Innovation is in trouble. And take a look at that orbital. Oh my god, it's going to go down, and more lings. Well, they what? don't have to no. go to the high ground. One siege tank just survives. There was a ling next to it, by the way. Oh, there, no. there was a zergling next to that tank. Uh, that's brutal, but at the same time, oh, that's sad Innovation you know. is one base. That's sad for you know as well, his tank got stuck. You know, you're yeah. spot on. Obviously, if Taro gets that tank, that would have been massive, but at this point, Taro doesn't have oh! to do this anymore. The double cross about in the middle. The double kill on both tanks, and Innovation is in a world of hurt. Yeah, I feel like maybe Serral didn't need to run these Zerglings up here, although he does get a few Marines for his efforts. And at this point, Serral's just got so much. He's taken another base back at home, which puts him up to four bases, ten more drones. He knows he's doing fine. I mean, and obviously at this point, he's just got the numbers, right? Yeah, he doesn't really have to go too crazy here anymore. Getting that orbital was massive. Nice. That's a bit sloppy by Serral. Nice pick off for Innovation, but Inno needs a lot more. Now, you give a Terran player, like Innovation, Steam, maybe a Medivac or two, a couple of Marines and crazy things can happen. The problem is this is not a two-base Zerg anymore. It's going to be a four-base Zerg soon. And there is a chance that maybe Serral is going to have to give up on this gold base. But I think he's completely okay with this. This gold base has already done what it's supposed yeah. to do. I think that Serral can get a little bit of static defenses as well. I'm not saying spines, but just getting a couple spores to keep Metavex at bay would already be so nice. The only thing that is very easy for us to analyze and not for Serral is that Innovation doesn't have another command center, right? But there is a change link. That change link, did it live? Did it just run up to the main base. Mm, oh I yeah. think it got picked up. No, oh it's, no, it's next it to the tanks. Right there. That's actually massive, yeah. because if Zero can confirm that there is not another command center, then I think he also knows he doesn't have to take a crazy fight here. Because, like, army-wise right now, Innovation can actually win a fight. It's not that likely, but it's absolutely possible. With 26 Marines, yeah, and you can win a fight. Yeah, with Siege Tanks in good positions as well. Mm -hmm. Zero's posturing, but... I mean, he's got 1-1 one, one upgrades on the way. He has no reason no. to push in, as long as he knows there's no expansion yeah. coming up. Thero really doesn't have to fight here. Innovation is going to move on pretty deep and grief. Even SCVs are coming as well. And that should be the tell for Thero that he really doesn't have to take this fight. A couple of oh, Ravagers, Ravagers coming in from the north side. They're derping around a little bit. In the end, they do get saved. And this is where Thero will evacuate on that gold base. But, you know, Innovation, I've been in situations like this as well where you're like, maybe I'm still in this game. And then you go to the other side of the map and you see multiple <laughs> hatcheries and units coming in from every yeah. angle. Uh, Eno is just kind of on his last legs here. Does get another somewhat decent fight. Loses a few more SCVs though, but I mean, he's down 34 army supply. And don't forget about those 1-1 one, one upgrades of Serral that are going to kick in as well. Serral's still playing a dangerous game. He really doesn't need to fight. I guess he doesn't want to give up his queens without a fight, but yeah. he's been bleeding out a lot of units. Yeah, he really has. And it's a little scary, but at the same time, he's just in such a good spot. And now obviously Innovation has so much further still to run across the map. How many queens does Serral have at home? Does I he have any? I think he has a few because he's been building a lot of queens throughout the game. Okay. Well, it's plus one. You know, still down 30 supply, but we saw how that previous fight went. Of course, the next fight is going to be a little bit harder. Serral losing a few overlords here as well. The fact there are still SCVs in the mix here should be a massive tell for Serral. The Roach count and Ravager count is a lot higher, and I think that this is going to be a GG. Serral gets his first map on the board. <laughs> kind of saved, got himself out of there. I'm not going to say that I like Maru's position, not at all. Scarlet just having that really good read or having that feeling. But we still have a game on our hands, and that's nice. I'd love to see Maru at least get a point on the board. These Zergans going down is kind of a big deal. Yep. If Scarlet's planning to do something aggressive, uh. although she is going Roach Roman, so if it is going to be that night as a game, then it's going to be with Roaches this time. Stilling's maybe not as important as I'm making out. Do you think in the previous game, right, to get a little bit serious again, if Maru doesn't end up losing those two Hellions and the Dreeper in the middle of the map, do you think he holds? I, I kind of want to believe because it, it got was close, really right? close <laughs> on the tank, right? And if he 
if he keeps so many more SCVs alive earlier, yeah. it becomes even easier, right? It's a real cascading effect. And it's really funny as well how links work in those scenarios against Hellions, right? Because yeah. it's like two Hellions, they really struggle. And the moment you have four Hellions, it just seems like it's a line of fire and links going yeah. down left, right, and center. So, yeah, maybe we didn't uh, pay enough attention to that, but I absolutely do believe that's the case as well. Now, there is an 